So we're here in the studio uh, going over some, uh, some videos, some content. We've had a great deer season. We've had a great uh, waterfowl season, but we've been getting a lot of messages and a lot of people are interested in learning more about our deer venison vault, our walk-in cooler, uh, how it was built, what it, what it took to get there. And uh, you know, we're pulling up some videos of when it was, uh, when it first was a camper and what it took to get it to the frame and then what it took to build into what it is today, the venison vault, which features uh, an insulated box, five by eight box that we can hang up to eight deer in. We have a draft system put in. We have, it can run solely off a generator. Uh, we've got some DC powered lights that are helpful. Um, the Coolabuck hide ripper and you know a lot of cool things. It started as an idea back when I shot my buck last year um, and it's turned into one heck of a project and it's very helpful. We've put, I think we we're over 12 deer through the, through the walk-in cooler now at this point, but I'll, uh, I'll share with you some videos from the beginning to the middle and the end. We'll walk you through uh, some, of the, some of the ideas that we've had, um, kind of what each feature does uh, and, and what it's about. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the Venison Vault, the deer walk-in cooler and uh, what it took to get there. Here we go. Good. Keep going. Send it. Over here. Oh yeah, the Hemi did it. Yeah, baby, 5.7. 5.7. Wow, that worked. Look at the shit. We'd have never, dude, we'd have never been, we'd have been all day trying to do this. This is, we're much better off doing this. I picked up this trailer today for the price of two cases of beer. I got this trailer, we're gonna turn it into a uh, deer walk-in cooler, so. All right, so we ran into a little bit of a snag. This kind of wasn't expected, unfortunately. Um, it's a 76 Shasta, and if you can look here, wall is completely rotted out of the bottom. So we got two options. We can either reinforce it, you know, maybe we can just try to pull this out and try to see, but I think what we're gonna end up doing is just reframing and building an entire new box on top of this frame. So this whole thing runs off an air conditioner. It's not possible to run off an air conditioner without this device right here, and this device is called a cool bot. This fools the air conditioner into believing that it's 80 degrees, 90 degrees, whatever the temperature is above what it is inside, and basically tells this device to kick the compressor on and run cold air. And the whole time, as you can see, we've got the door open now, opening at 34, now we're up to 40 degrees. This will kick on, fool this into thinking that it's probably 80 degrees and, and kick it back down. Uh, we've got two inch insulation foam. The build calls for four, but because of limited space and money, we've gone ahead and went with two inch and it's gone actually very well. Every crack and crevice is filled with just spray insulation foam. Rusty had these made at work, leftover scrap metal, and we just have, uh, what were these? Uh, half inch. Half inch. Were they iron pipe? Iron pipe. And half inch iron pipe. Uh, there's a compressor kicking on. Now it's gonna fool this device. As you can see here, it's telling you that it's 72 degrees inside when really it's 43 degrees in here. So if we shut this door, it'll take a couple seconds and cool this right down. We have a log book with our element archery pen, Cirrus wind indicator book. Any deer that comes in here is getting marked down on here. Of course, we have the butcher vest, saw. Uh... Now this whole thing was built and basically when we got this, we paid two cases of beer, two cases of bush light actually for an old camper. We took that camper, we transformed it down into just the frame, uh, used old lumber that we had lying around the house, built the whole platform, and then went through and, and design, came up with this design um, to put this box. It's a five by eight box. Everything's insulated, as you saw from the inside, and it runs off the air conditioner. So now in the front, when we are, where, where were we? So now here where we are, we have, we're have we at a cabin in New York and we have power, so we're running an extension cord to run this and operate it. But when we're without power, we have the Cabela's Outdoorsman 3850, I believe, 3800 uh, generator. Works great, it's very inexpensive generator. It's not too loud, works well. Um, as you can see over here, we like to hunt out of tree stands, so we have 
couple tree stands here. We'll throw our climbers here. We're gonna use tonight before we head out. So we'll just stack our those there. We've got some propane for our camp chef. And then obviously here is the trailer for the Quiet Cat. Now the Quiet Cat is, if you're not familiar, just a bike that is an electric bike that's a fat tire bike that will allow us to get to places that you normally can't get to or you can get to a little bit quicker, quietly and efficiently. So we have the Quiet Cat attached. So there's a lot of room left over, as you can see. It was a camper at one time and now we're, uh, we're turning it into walk-in coolers. So there you have it. Looks like we're filling up the venison vault, brother.